the story. Tempe police still looking for three teenagers right now that investigators say are suspects in an assault that caused that widespread panic and fast evacuation at Arizona Mills Mall. Ford Hatchet was part of our team that rushed to the mall this afternoon. Tempe police officers raced to the scene here Saturday afternoon as calls poured in about a possible shooting victim inside Arizona Mills Mall. Almost instantly we determined that there was no shooting. However, we still went through the normal protocols to ensure there were no additional victims as well as clearing the rest of the mall. Armed officers at Arizona Mills after police say a man in his 20s or 30s was assaulted inside the mall by a group of teenagers. Tempe PD has one officer who was designated to the mall who was able to respond quickly. They say the man had a cut on his head but will be okay. The three suspects got away. Traffic backed up surrounding the mall as nearly everyone tried to get away from it and first responders moved in. Came out, nothing. Jasmine and Omar Kuzmik caught a movie earlier in the afternoon before the assault, only to find police cars on their way out. Yeah, it was full of people, and then when we came out, everyone was gone. There's like seven people. Yeah. And Tempe police tell us some of their trainings on how to manage situations with large crowds actually include practice runs right here at Arizona Mills Mall to make sure that their officers are ready when the real thing occurs. In Tempe, Fort Hatch at ABC 15, Arizona. ABC 15 Sports. Sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All right, tonight the talk of the state is how the landscape of college sports has forever changed. So over the past 24 hours, the 108 year tradition, rich history of the Pac-12 coming to really an abrupt end. In a matter of 